Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch Run. On the last part, we took care of Fortree Gym thanks to a beautiful showing from Castform. Uh, Weather Ball and Hail pretty much one hit or near enough all of those guys. Uh, so I'm really glad we got a chance to show off some of Castform's might. I never really used Castform in the uh, previous runs I've done, so. It's been a pretty nice experience. Uh, oh, I do want to alter my party a bit. I want to bring uh, Anorus into the lead because, well, it is kind of a bit saddening that uh, he's so far behind. Otherwise, our levels are pretty good. Uh, I want Anorus to be ready because I want to really evolve him, uh, and I want him to be a powerhouse on our team. I know his typing isn't the best for it, um, I'm looking at my team now and I've got like four different ways to take... Oh, no, 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 no. I guess I was holding just down enough that it decided that the uh, ladder was a good place. Um, I looked at my team and I've got a lot of ways to take down flying. Uh, notably, I think all but Wobbuffet, which, I mean, doesn't have any specialties, uh, and Latias don't have a way to take out flying. Everyone else is fine. Because uh, Cast Form's got Weather Ball and Hail, and he'll take it out. Uh, La Latias doesn't have anything. Um, Anorith is Rock. Rock will wipe out Flying. Uh, Pikachu's Electric. Electric wipes out Flying. And Swampert has Rock Throw? Or Rock Slide? I forget which one he has right now. It's been, it's been a while since we used him to take out uh, Flying types. So, I'm excited. The obstruction to the south here that we ran into uh, I believe midway through last part um, should be gone um, now that we've gotten the last badge. Well, the sixth badge, but still. Yep, we already made it past. And that means we can go after Pikachu's quote unquote uh, evolution. At least it's what I will consider it as. Uh, I can skip that guy. He's not too important. Oh, blocked off. We go down this side. Bunch of wild Pokemon kind of jump out at us. But there, we have cleared through, well, the rainy area, I guess, even though there's a lot of puddles all over the place. There it is. The light ball. It's one of those few items that I would go and make a side trip for if I'm running a Pikachu, because, well, it's a good item for Pikachu. Uh, item give. Because here, it, wrong one. An item held by Pikachu. It's a puzzling orb that boosts attack and special attack stats. Since Cosplay Pikachu is stuck as Pikachu, that's going to be very helpful since it should double Pikachu's attack and defense stats. Sorry, no, attack and special attack. Which means, of course, um, all of my attacks on Pikachu are now twice as good. You know what? Let's fight you. It's going to be weird, but I know there's a heal pretty close to here, so I'm not going to be too upset if my Pokemon do take a lot of damage here. We're up against Hex Maniac. Um, sorry, I missed the name. Uh, and her Dust Skull to start. So we're going to be a little under level. This is the other reason I'm like worried half the time I'm fighting these things. We're going to Bug Bite. Apparently we're faster. That's a bit of a surprise. It's not very effective. Uh, and we don't really have anything that's going to be uh, super effective against this guy. Uh, I want to try to do as much as I can with Anorith to, well, I didn't want to have to sit through that animation. We'll take a little bit of damage here, and we could kill him, and in fact, I think I will give it a shot. Because uh, if we take out this Dust Skull, then uh, we'll, we'll have full experience for both of them. Uh, as opposed to swapping in, swapping out, swapping in. We'll take a little more curse damage, but right after this fight starts, we can swap out. Uh, and with a Sableye, uh, I'm going to be happy it can swap out. Pokemon. I hate Sableye so much. He's got uh, one weakness now, and it's Fairy, and that's it. Here, Pikachu, we just got you an upgrade. Let's see how you handle this Sableye. So theoretically, this, um, Icicle, 
Crash probably is the move I'm going to use, uh, is going to be much stronger than it would have been two minutes ago. I'm going to oh, I just used Discharge. Oops. Maybe, maybe we just won't hit. Oh, no, we, we hit. Yeah, one hit him with Discharge. Alright, the Light Ball is already uh, a pretty nice buff for us. But Hex Maniac Tammy, Tammy was the name I missed, um, is doing just fine now. Let's fight this girl as well. Uh, what is she, a beauty or a lass, or what? what, what is her class? This is a Beauty Jessica with a Kecleon. Good old Kecleon. Um, I'm gonna switch Pokemon right away. I, I know Anorith probably doesn't have any good moves for this. So we're gonna swap out to. Honestly, have we even used Latias for really anything? Um, I know we've had them in the party for a while, but. Camouflage, ooh, alright. Transform into a grass. Oh, so it's a way to, to do your own, like to do the type you're most, uh, like you're surrounded by. I think we tried to use it, but it only had Dragon Grass, and that was the problem. And now we're fighting a Dragon Kecleon, which isn't a bad thing with Dragon Breath. That means we're going to be super effective against him, and he likely doesn't have a move uh, like how Castrum has Weather Ball, uh, which changes based on the weather. Um, and then his form changed so we could stab on it as well, I think. I think that's how um, yeah, Weather Ball's been working. Uh, we're going to switch Pokemon. Let's get back uh, Anorith to the field, and we'll swap from Anorith to... Honestly, we're up against a Poison type and Viper. I don't know what's going to be a good one to fight it. We don't really have anything directly designed to take out Poison. Uh, so we're going to switch. In this case, I guess Pikachu will be fine. I'm trying to avoid using Swampert again, because he's level 40. Well, 39. Uh, compared to the rest of our team, which this, I think, is our next highest at 35. I know it's kind of avo unavoidable with our entire first half of the game being his. Uh, there was really no choice in the matter. We were stuck using just Swampert and Pikachu to a small extent. Uh, it's a bit sad that we get all of our Pokemon in the second half of the game. Oh yeah, I guess if we're doubling up, Stab is going to be that much more helpful. Uh, I, I didn't really think that through. But I mean, Icicle Crash still did a decent pile of damage. And there we go, we took out the beauty. But yeah, I'm going to be trying to keep Anorith in the lead for all these. Oh, it's Team Aqua. Okay, we're moving up to Mount Pyre. Before we get, no, we're getting our hands on that orb before Team Magma does. So, I guess they're after an orb on Mount Pyre. I think that's very important. We should check it out as soon as possible. Because Mount Pyre is basically a graveyard. And I don't know why they decided to do this, but we now have a, well... Pokemon Center employee, who's just kind of hanging at the beginning of this route. Normally, uh, if I was playing Emerald or um, Ruby or Sapphire, all the originals, I would be running to Mosdy. But thanks to the um, advent of teleportation that's been everywhere, uh, I don't have to. Oh, we're, we don't need to worry about this tentacool, it's not going to do much to us. Um, I do, however, I do want to teach Fly to Latias soon. I mean, it's not urgent, but it would be nice to get another stab move on them. And Fly, while it's annoying that it's a two-turn move, it's still a good move. Uh, there. Oh, a Anorith cannot learn Fly. But Latias can. Uh, we have to forget a move. Honestly, Heal Pulse, yeah, that's a beautiful move. Half their HP. Mist Ball is a pretty awesome move. I don't know why I thought uh, it was Stab. Um, sorry, Fly. We're going to get rid of Recover, which is weird because it's the... Here's my own status boosting. But, I mean... Now we have Fly, which means we can go back to any, I think, town? I'm not sure if it's root for this as well, because I know the uh, Eon Flute, you can go any root as well. We're just 
this is the uh, part of random encounters, I guess. And look at that. This is how I know my team needs to be trained up some more. Sorry, my nose is just running like crazy. How my team needs to be trained up some more is, well, uh, we are outpowered by wild Pokemon. When I'm here, some sort of power flows into me. Awkward, but alright. Um, I guess you're meant to be a uh, kind of creepy person with uh, Hex Maniac as your title, but let's take him out. Uh, but yeah, because everything kind of counters each other, it doesn't have very many resistances, I guess, as a Sableye, uh, but it has like nothing that's super effective. Fuse Ray, that's just a sign for let's get uh, Anorith out. Shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world. That is that is bag. That is going to make it a little more difficult. Um, it is a dark ghost type, so I'd bring out Latias, but I'm worried he's going to have a dark move that's going to hit Latias pretty hard. So Pikachu is going to get some more training as well. And plus, by doing this and focusing on basically everything, but um, Swampert, I will always have Swampert in the back to basically tidy up any situation that the rest of my team can handle. Uh, and Swampert is still getting experience, it's a little less than he gets for actually being on the front lines, but I mean, he will still level up, he'll probably be 40 before he can even choose 37. Ooh, Brian, that's a, a solid water move. I don't want to, I don't, yeah, there it is. Um, if target's HP is half or less, double attack. Um, I guess I'll, I'll swap out uh, Metal Claw. I know it's not the best move for an Anorith, but still. I'll, I'll, I'm not the best at picking a move. I like the fact that he now has a special move, because I think all of his other ones, maybe Ancient Power was special, but uh, now it's half and half. So many people. We can get a Super Repel, so if we really do want to avoid uh, encounters in this area, uh, we will have that. I don't tend to go out of my way to avoid too many encounters, just because I can use the experience, even though you see me running from pretty much all the Pokemon battles I'm running into. Hello, Shuppet. Yeah, actually, Shuppet's not going to be worth the experience. I'm hoping we're going to get some. I know we have a lot of um, necessary trainer battles that are coming up basically right at the end of this, so I didn't want to weaken my party too much before that point. So, we can get the Lax Incense. Not really what I was after, uh, but I mean it's an item on my route. What else could I do? So, we can head out of that um, area and we are on Mount Pyre. Sort of climbing up the exterior now. Lots of new Pokemon in this area, but since we're not catching any of them, it's not too, too important. They're going to stay as little ghosts for the rest of the time, which I mean does seem pretty fitting uh, based on the area we're in. So welcome to Mount Pyre Summit. Oh, I thought we were there already. Uh, there's a few good items uh, littered around up here. A max potion is well, the earliest of those. Um, I know there's a rare candy kicking around too, which I'd love. Oh, an Ultra Ball! Uh, not, not actually helpful. But yeah, I guess is Burr Candy here? Nope. Well, I can't go anywhere else up here, so... Here are the uh, forced encounters. It looks like there's going to be at least three. I remember you from Mount Chimney. It's payback time. Yep. We're going to be fighting Apparently a bunch of grunts we fought before, their Pokemon are up-leveled though, fortunately. Um, I mean, I know Anorith would love an easy fight for once, but uh, no such thing. Level 36, yeah, uh, they're already out-leveled with us. You know what, no. Anorith, you're going to stand your ground, let's see how long you last. Ancient Power, if we can get an early buff, uh, we'll be in a great spot for it, but... Basically, whenever Anorith goes below half health, then I'll start worrying about it. Uh, let's try Bug Bite. 
see if that's going to do any extra damage. No, not really. Ugh, I do not like seeing a minimize here. Because what, three of those and they're effectively unhittable? Uh, except for like Shockwave. And there's two of them. And you, you heard at like the third gym where I was just so speaking the praises of Shockwave. Okay, so they've minimized, so they actually have the highest evasiveness they can have right now. Which means, of course, now I'm not going to land a hit. Um, do I have anyone with moves that don't miss? Ah, uh, check moves. Ah. Uh, no, no, I don't. All right. Ah. Uh, we're gonna switch to Pikachu. Weird choice. It's the only one that's an act, like a good level for this sort of thing. Uh, and I want to kind of push things a little quicker. So we'll take some damage from Sludge Wave. Oh, what I expected. Uh, and then we're gonna, I guess, hope Ice of Crash hits. Oh, as you saw, evasiveness won't go any higher. Down goes Pikachu. This is what I really don't like about Minimize. I really shouldn't have let him get there, but uh, it happened and there's nothing I can do about it at this point. Missed ball. Because yeah, what is it? Uh, now I have like a 3 and 9 chance or something like that uh, to hit him. Oh, well, neither of us are hitting each other, so that's good. and Miss Ball kills. So we're good there. I think Sledge Wave would have been much more effective against me. That's why I was avoiding this guy first, but... For the rest of the encounters, I'm just going to be swapping out Anorith as soon as possible. Um, so that we can kind of speed the process along. Um, there is, however, the uh, Rare Candy. I'm still wondering where that's sitting. Oh man, the perfect opportunity for oh wait, we kill Pikachu. So Carvana, if I had a fighting move, I guess Wobbuffet will have to do. It's weird. I'm going to Wobbuffet the Psychic type for this. Uh, let's see what moves you're about to use. Scary Face, which means I don't think we can escape anymore. Oh no, that's a Speed Fell. Awkward. Uh, we're gonna just straight counter. See if that does anything. Swagger, all right, all right. Uh, our attack stat really doesn't matter right now. But hitting ourselves in confusion. Okay, so it's got scary face and swagger. Do you have any other moves you'd like to you'd like to share with the class, Carvana? Ice Fang. Alright, that's a physical for sure. We took some damage. Not that much, though. Um, and then we took damage from Carvana's rough skin. I know he's going to be using probably Ice Fang again. No, oh, another Swagger. If I was any other Pokemon, I'd be really okay with this. Because, yeah, you just, you just boosted my attack 4. And now 6. I'm at max attack stat. Oh, okay. I mean, that's not gonna... It's gonna hurt myself a little more, but... And we're poisoned. Bye, Wobbuffet. I mean, you kinda set that onto yourself by punching yourself in the face a bunch. Cast form, your turn. I don't really have a specific weather I want to put out here, uh, because, well, it's not, like, I guess uh, Rain Dance would be a bad choice, but I think Weather Ball regularly is going to be fine to kill off this. But he does have the Mystic Water, 
so I just didn't want to leave that guy on there to um, confuse the rest of my team. We're going to keep battling. See, now Rain Dance is good. Rain Dance would be a great one. Uh, let's, let's throw one up. We're very slow now thanks to Scary Face. Sometimes the AI makes moves that just make me question that AI. And welcome to the water form of Cast Form. Uh, we are going to just Weather Ball and that should take him the rest of the way out. Because I think between... Uh, I'm going to have Stab because we think we're both water, the move and my, my type. Plus I'm going to have Mystic Water, plus I'm going to have the Rain Boost. I think this is going to do, yeah, it's a pretty clean kill. Uh, it's a powerful move, and that's part of the reason he's holding Mystic Water, is because the first route you have him on is a rain. And at this point, as much as I'd love uh, coverage to take out, actually coverage to take out grass is good. Uh, and I did mention a lot of my team has coverage to take out uh, flying. So we're actually going to be getting rid of Hail. Keep old moves. Yes. Uh, he learns all three. He's great for whichever type you want to give him. Uh, honestly, if I was playing regularly, I'd be like, yeah, I'm just going to uh, remove Rain Dance, uh, Sunny Day, and Hail for that. But I don't know. Now that I've seen that the benefits to them, Hail is the only one that's like, I know I just watched how useful this is, but still, I thought what I was gonna say. I thought one of these had an item. Uh, still not the item I'm thinking of, though. I might. I must just be thinking of Emerald. That there's a rare candy somewhere in here. Let's see. Can I resurrect Pikachu? Uh, so revive Pikachu. Moo Moo Milk. Let's get. Wobbuffet back up, Anorith back up, Pikachu back up. I better have something to get rid of poisoning, there it is. And now my team is ready for, well, the hope for the next two battles. Show you exactly how scary Team Aqua can be. Um, I'm going to leave Anorith to try to take out this guy again, because even though it's not the smartest plan... now you know what? Actually, Bug Bite would do a lot of damage, uh, oddly enough. So let's start with that. Because he's dark, and dark is afraid of bugs. Um, no, I don't know why. Swagger, so at least if we don't kill ourselves, we're going to be doing lots of damage. If we don't kill ourselves... Honestly, these are pretty good moves for Mightyana to be using against us. Oh, and now we can't use items. So wait, three of your moves are dedicated to not attacking? And just trying to make me knock myself out? Because you slowed me down, you boosted my attack and confused me, and then you made it so I can't use items. Well, now Bug Bite's not going to work anyways, so we'll switch. <sighs> Around in. We'll switch over to Pikachu. Pika. Take the Poison Fang. A little damaging. I wish you wouldn't poison me every single time you hit me. Ugh game, sometimes it just feels broken. But we're going to discharge and probably want to hit him as a result. Pikachu very well might be our strongest Pokemon right now, thanks to the Light Ball. And good job, Anorith, for finally, uh, I mean, breaking the 30 mark. Think you can pick a fight with Team Aqua all by your own, so apparently I can. Alright, we're gonna rush right quick and see this cutscene.
Oh. I mean, he is wearing all blue. It makes sense for him to grab the blue orb. Yo. It's, it is the usual scamp. Sorry, Scampo, but I'm afraid I just don't have time to play with you right now. The blue orb that's long been enshrined here at Mount Pyre belongs to Team Aqua now. Matt, Matt. Alright, we're going to be fighting Matt now. Blue orb may add, I won't even need the power of the meteorite to awake the beast from the deep. All I need now is to get to the place where it sleeps. We're going to go get the submarine from Sleep Warp. Alright then, until the boss makes his getaway, I'll be your opponent. Fair enough. I mean, he's already left. I, I didn't try to stop him. Like, I was in between him and the escape route. I think I could have tried to stop him if I needed to. Sharpedo's a bit of an awkward one for Anareth to fight because... Well, wa any water move would kill Anareth. So... Yeah, you know what? Let's, let's switch to Wolfet, see if we can get a, um, a lucky insta-kill out. Because uh, he's probably going to hit us with a water move. Ice Fang. Not a water move. What does that do to us? 50 damage? Alright. Um, counter. Slash. Another 50, which means we're doing about 100 back to him. He doesn't quite die, though, and it lowers us to the point where we will die next hit. Uh, we're going to swap out. I hate... Like, if Wolfet was the same level as him, he'd have no issues taking him out. But well, if it's just low enough, it's not going to work. We know Sharpedo has rough skin, so Hydro Pump should hit him fine. Hydro Pump's a beautiful move, and that's why we used it thanks to uh, Mystic Water. It's not very effective, but I mean, it can still make up for a few levels difference that uh, Cat's Form has. Good job, Latias. Mwahahaha, <laughs> that battle was fun, even though I lost. So, uh, that's going to be the end of this part. I look forward to facing you again one day, too, Matt. With that, Team Aqua has stolen the blue orb. Um, the blue orb and red orb must never be separated. They belong together. So, of course, what we're going to do is steal the red orb ourselves. I don't know why. It just seems like a bad plan. It's like they should never be separated. So we're going to make both of them uh, completely separate. We obtained a red orb. Chase after those thieves and take back their orb. I'm sure he said they were headed for Slateport City next. So I guess that's why it forces you to have uh, gotten the... Um, sixth gym because now I can't do it from here I don't think I think it counts as in a cave right now oddly oh no I can fly from right here so Moss Thief no sorry Lily Cove is the next town we haven't gone there yet instead we're actually going to be backtracking all the way back home at this point and we're going to be calling it here so Thank you guys all for watching this episode of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch. In the next part, we are going to finally visit our home again. And then go see what happened in Slateport City because we dawdled a bit. See you guys then.